So here we have the Nissan Micra on an 09 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a three door car. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see that given the size of the vehicle we have plenty of boot space. You can fold that rear seat down as one complete unit should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way down the other side of the car now, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer on the right, and then the fuel gauge in the middle at the top. You can see in the trip computer section, the total miles for this car are 111,953. Over in the center, you'll find the stereo. We've also got some storage just above it here. Main volume for the stereo is over on the uh, left-hand side. And then you've got various different presets for radio stations, etc. down the bottom here. We've got a USB input as well, so you can collect up a device that way, should you wish to. Working our way down from that, we then have uh, the fans. So first of all, turn the fan speed on with this dial in the middle. Uh, you can decide where you'd like the air to be diverted once it enters the car from over here. And then you can select the temperature with this right hand dial. You can either bring in fresh air from outside the car or you can recirculate the air that's already in it. That's a good way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly in the car, depending on the temperature you set on this dial. But most of the time you'd have it over here. We have a heated rear screen. We've got our hazard warning lights, as you can see. Down the bottom here, we have a couple of cup holders and an auxiliary input uh, for music devices just there, uh, as well as having one on here as well. And then we have a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.